Welcome back. It's not just students and parents thinking daily right now about a safe return to school, but also police. Some school resource, uh, resource officers are starting to head back to campuses. The return, of course, comes after a summer when the role of police in communities and schools has been met with scrutiny along the way. Officers also going back knowing that students they used to watch out for have now been away from that kind of interaction for quite a while. But officers in Bedford today told us that they are eager to start their roles in schools again and to have students there with them in person. I understand that folks are scared and we as parents, we are concerned as well. But I believe the, the psychological part of the child development, in my opinion, is more, is more important than, than the risk. Some officers are already back on campuses in districts where the staff is returning to get ready for the start of their new year. Still to come here at 6, sanitizing after school. When she comes home from school, do we need to uh, sanitize her from head to toe? The after school precautions that some health experts say children and parents should take to help minimize the risk and which ones they say are probably unnecessary. Also, student athletes making some pretty quick decisions to secure a scholarship. We'll discuss the impact COVID is having on their choice of college.